And then Hangman Page comes out for a promo, and it's Hangman Page, CM Punk at the pay-per-view, and uh, Hangman Page is undoubtedly playing the heel role in, oh, this, yeah. uh, in this deal. He comes out and he says, I could talk about how excited I am to face Punk, I'm looking forward to it, but there's not going to be a handshake for this match. It's not going to be, quote, a masturbatory Bret Hart tribute match. Oh, some people gonna, get mad about that. I'm going to destroy this guy. The fans start to boo, and Paige sees this fan with a punk shirt on. He says, by the time this match is over, you're going to be asking for a refund for that shirt if you haven't burned it already. And he says, Punk's not here tonight. He's probably out filming another television show. In fact, I'm I, gonna think, go. I believe he. I believe he was. He's I'm got that that Mayan show, and he's got the, um, which by the way debuted last night. Um, and then he's also got the um, the what's it called Heels on Stars show that he's got recurring roles in both shows. Well, he has vowed to give him the fight of his life and embarrass him, at double or nothing. This is a very interesting promo. Very interesting that they would go heel with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some interesting stuff with. Uh, Punk and Page, anyway, but uh, yeah, very, very. Um, I was very intrigued by by this one, um, but uh, I was I was not expecting Page to go heel, and um, I guess the feeling was is, um, you know, again, I don't know, babyface babyface has worked in the last, you know, fifteen twenty years, but like old school, you know, way back when. When you do the, the big baby face versus baby face match, it always drew disappointing. So um, I don't know. You know, Tony's a student, but I mean, it has it has worked in recent years. It's not like it's, you know, it's not like that axiom doesn't, you know, you know, it, it, that, it, that it doesn't work and it doesn't draw. That's out the window now. But, you know, baby face versus heel is usually better. But, Dude, um, I just yesterday watched the King of the Ring 1993. And they had uh, Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect in the tournament, which was an awesome match. And uh, they were both baby faces. And so what they did is before the match, they had me and Gene interview both guys. And Gene's just a total shit stirrer. And he's asking Bret, like, I know you wanted to face Perfect. Is it a Mr. Hughes? Is it because you think you'd be an easier opponent and Brett's all stammering and then Mr. Perfect gets mad and then Gene has to say, did your parents or did your dads ever face each other? And, you know, Brett goes, my dad beat his dad. And Perfect goes, your dad never beat my dad. I'm going to go out there and kick your ass. And I, so they go out and do the match and Perfect, even though they're both baby faces, because of the interview they did, Perfect takes the heel role in the match. And so he, they basically did a babyface heel match, even though they were both babyfaces. And then, of course, Brett pins him in the end, and then, you know, Perfect's all pissed off. But then he goes up and he gives him the handshake and he leaves a babyface. And, you know, sometimes that's what you need to do. Like, it's a babyface match, but somebody's got to play that role to get the people into the match in a certain way. So I'm fine with this. I don't think he's going full heel, but... You know, he's mad. So, um, no, he's just playing heel. I mean, he's probably mad about something else. But uh, well, sure. But I mean, but um, it came out of nowhere. It wasn't like there were any hints of anything like this. And Punk didn't like do anything to stir it up. I think, uh, but it's, you know, I mean, it, I don't think the people will. I don't. I mean, he. I suppose he could insult the fans and get the people to boo him. I mean, before I expected a match where they didn't boo him, but they probably would. You know, there's a good chance they would cheer Punk more, although you never know. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's going to be interesting what they do with the finish, too, um, and how they do the match. I mean, it's like Paige has, had been, has had really great singles matches, and Punk's had some good matches, too. But it's, um, they're very different style wrestlers. So it's going to be kind of intriguing how the styles mix and match. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.